Hello and welcome to the Runner's Resources Guide on how to run fartlek workouts. Uh, in this video we'll discuss uh, what a fartlek workout is and how it can really benefit your running. So first, what does fartlek mean? It's kind of a silly term, but it's actually a Swedish word for speed play. And the reason that the word speed play is used is because a fartlek is basically a training run that is divided into different segments of running fast and running slow where the, the runner will vary his or her speed throughout the run. Uh, generally a fartlek is you know, 30 minutes to 50 minutes, even an hour and again uh, throughout the run the, the runner will vary his or her pace. The benefits of fartleks are that um, well number one it prepares a runner for uh, the faster pace of a race and also, it helps prepare a runner for the different speed changes that um, a race presents. As many of you know, uh, a race is not often run at the exact same pace, whether it be because of hills or the competition, you know, with surging and so forth. A runner really has to be prepared for um, you know, changing gears and running fast when uh, he or she needs to. So running a fart look, how do you do it? The classic fart look is very flexible. In essence, a runner starts to run fast whenever he or she feels like it and then slows down when he or she needs to recover. Uh, one good way to run the workout is to pick out an object ahead of you, such as a telephone pole, and tell yourself, I'm going to run fast until I make it to that pole, then I'll slow down and recover and then jog a little bit and then find another telephone pole or some other object and sprint to that object and then stop and recover. Very flexible, you just go by feel. Uh, critically, uh, make sure to at least warm up uh, 10 minutes prior to beginning a fart lick and also cool down uh, by jogging uh, at you know, five to 10 minutes. This is really important just to help prevent cramping and reduce the chance of injury. So I, I just described what's usually called the classic fartlek workout. It's very flexible. But there's also a, a structured fart, fartlek alternative. And in a structured fartlek, it's much more, uh, closer to a regular track interval workout where a runner runs set periods of time fast and then set periods of time slow. So for example, uh, a runner might run a 10 minute warm up, run 2 minutes hard, 2.30 easy, 3 minutes hard, 2.30 easy, 4 minutes hard, 2.30 easy, and repeat. The benefit of a structured fart look is that it really makes sure that you get in the hard sessions during your run. Uh, on, in a classic fart look, it's very easy to you know, run the recovery segments longer than you should. Um, so, but you know, both workouts are great. So when do you run fart licks? Well, you know, it's a difficult workout. Don't start running them without building a proper training base. You, know, you need to run at least 20 miles a week for about a month to get your muscles and your cardiovascular system uh, to a point where you can handle these workouts without a problem. Um, to, to do otherwise would risk any, to would risk injury. Uh, also, don't run a fart lick workout more than twice a week. And if you do another workout, such as an interval workout or some kind of hill workout, only run the fart lick workout once. It's important to, to follow this rule to avoid overtraining. So, for more info on fart licks and other, other topics having to do with running, please feel free to visit the runner's resource at runnersresource.com and thank you very much for listening.